Hi, Hanchi Steve Kaufman here. Welcome to Hanchi's World. We're going to talk tonight about one of my books, The Sword in the Boardroom. With me is Arthur English, who's very familiar with my work. And uh, we've, we had a little discussion. We said, listen, why don't we uh, talk about one of your books? I says, okay, that works for me. But we're not going to do it as a tutorial. I'm not going to do it as a seminar. We're going to do it as a conversation. Arthur, thanks for coming by. Your help is inestimable. Well, thank you so much. Hey, listen, That's okay. Steve. Yeah. I am... Um, yeah. I really enjoy you. Well, thank you. I love to listen to you speak. Me too. I'm, 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 <laughs> okay. I'm inspired by you. Yeah. I'm amazed that you've written so many books. I think the audience out there would just be amazed. Yeah. The number of books, and yeah. how many books are right now? Uh, well, we have 43 books. We have 18 online right now. We have, you know, we're getting a lot into, you know, pre-press and all that kind of thing. So tell me, well, when you write a book like this, how do you synthesize the idea, uh, the sword in the boardroom? Okay, I've been involved with the martial arts for like, Sure. 60 years, sure. okay, sure. and I've gotten away from the concept of martial arts, okay. I sp talk about and teach martialism. It's a different thing. One is more of a, um, an aesthetic, and the other one is more of a get down and do it. Talk okay. about the aesthetic of it. Okay, the aesthetic. In the martial arts, you practice over and over certain moves and things like that until you inculcate them into your head, hopefully, depending upon your sincerity. Martialism, you practice the techniques for specific usage, okay? It's the same thing as sparring. Uh, yeah, martial, you need the arts. You know, you have to know your art to be able to use that something, sure. okay? But the uh, attitude of martialism, or the martialist attitude is one like, oh really, okay, let's go to work. Sure, okay. uh, how does that work in the boardroom? Uh, that particular approach is the only approach that you can use when you're doing something like what to call the sword in the boardroom. Great. Sword in the boardroom means essentially you're prepared to cut down any adversary. Now, I'm not talking about slaying them physically. Well, you know, it depends on the situation. Cute, cute, right? The point is when you're already in a boardroom, you've done your homework, you know why you're there, you know what your motivation, you know what the opposition's motivation is, and you're not going in there with the attitude of win-win, which is a... As far as I'm concerned, it's a totally lame old concept, okay? My concept is winning for the benefit of all concerned. Why? Winning for the benefit of all concerned, with myself as the primary recipient of good, if we negotiate and put a deal together, and I'm cutesy cutesy in any way, shape, or form, or I permit you to be cutesy cutesy, okay? There's going to be a little ingredient of, oh, oh yeah? Okay, well, you're putting a lot of pressure on me to concur. I'll get you. No, I'm not there to come back and say, hey, we put the deal together and you behave yourself or you're going to be punished. No, 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 that's baby stuff. You're dealing in a global society. I have to know what you need. You have to know what I need. Or well, first of all, why did we come together? Okay, you have something that you want me to work on. And how do we know that? For whatever reason that we contacted each other, we came together and said, hi, Arthur. What do you want me to do? And I'll tell you very honestly if I can do it or I can't do it. I want you to, uh, to deal with me specifically. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to treat you like a client. Yeah, I have a business. Okay. Yeah. All right? I have a business. I have a production business. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, it's doing very well. Mazel tov. But I'm looking <laughs> to, I'm, I, I want to expand it out internationally. Okay. It's, it's basically working with artists. The name yeah. of the show is called Artists Behind the Artists. Good luck. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's on 7.30 Wednesdays. Yeah. And I don't get, and I'm not getting the response that I want. Yeah. What, do you, what do you mean? Well, here's what I really want. I want to I want to take the show uh, globally. And I, and I can't find anybody who's willing to, to take on my work. Tell me, how do I use the book? And I know somebody okay. who, who, okay. who, who, who's okay. interested, but he's futzing around with me. Okay, first of all, were your intentions made specific and clear to the other person? Yeah. Okay, did the other person concur with you? No. Then you didn't get the deal done. Yeah, I mean, you didn't get the thing That's put right. together. What Sword in the Boardroom does essentially is, and because of all the charts and all the graphs and things, you gotta answer the questions. People say, well, you know, nobody read a book answer questions. Let me tell you something, man. If you're going to do something, you're going to put your effort and energy into something, and you don't question yourself, then get a job washing dishes, 
okay? And I'm not demeaning that, okay? <coughs> if you're in a situation where you're in charge of something, you want to get something accomplished, and I'll be very honest with you, I have this issue as well myself, even though I've explained clearly and specifically, this is what I want. Can you deliver this? Yes. Okay, fine. Here's the cutoff date. We need this. Hello, where is it? Oh, well, you were, you, know, you, said you were backed up. You were jammed up. I said, fine. Are we going to proceed? Great. Yes. I love it, Steve. Wait, no, wait, wait, no. This is significant. Yeah, we're going to proceed. We do it the second time. You don't deliver. Bang. This ain't baseball. You don't get three outs. You're out of the picture. Next case. Yeah, you're real good. Keep in touch, you know. Hi, I got this situation. This is what I'm trying to do. You in? Yeah, okay. Here's the first scene. Bang, guy shows up. Okay, is everything okay? We work out what we have to work out. See, we're talking a lot here. You don't want me to talk a lot, but I have to talk a lot to get my message across. Period. I got it. No, I, I'm listening real carefully. Yeah. It's not that I want you to talk a lot, but here's, here's, what, yeah. I, I want, here's what I want I want to hear you say. Yeah, boom. Um, <laughs> what yeah. kind of clients, because this is, this is the ad part, yeah. okay? What kind of clients have you worked most successfully with? I've worked with a lot of, uh, what are these, IPOs. Uh, I've worked with uh, lawyers and attorney firms, uh, sales organizations. And I find out primarily the biggest problem they're having is that management, hey, we started it, we got something going on over here, great, I'm going to play golf. You, you're the middle manager, you take care of it. Oh, yeah, you're playing golf? Well, screw you too, Jack, you know, yeah. I'm going for coffee. Yeah. Wrong. The only time you play golf mm -hmm. is when everyone who has in your employ has concurred with the directives you have issued. And if you have not issued them correctly, they're not going to concur. And how does that work? By constant redefinition. What do you want? Where are you looking to go? What do you want? You're bringing me in? Okay, if I'm, you're going to bring me in, I'm going to tell you to do this, that, and the other thing. That's great, Steve. It's up to you to say, yeah, we're going to do it or not do it. Steve, that's great. Why, why, why? No, I, this, it's a circle. This is the way I look at stuff, okay? Yeah. You want to have this as a conversation. We're having this conversation. If I was to go into the President of America Waffle Cookie Company, hi, how are you? Well, th Steve, thanks for coming by. Great, good. Coffee? Yeah, right, boom. Get that out of the way. Well, Steve, uh, what do you think? I says, what do I think? It's not important what I think. What do you think, and what do you want done? If you don't know what you want done, excuse me, in 25 words or less, thanks for the coffee. I'll be at my 800 bucks an hour, I'll buy you, right? What can I tell you, someone? You tell me, well, I'm not getting through because management isn't paying attention to what I'm doing. No, management is not paying attention to what they are doing because you are not paying attention to what management should be doing, and you're waiting for management to pass it on to the field force, so to speak. Okay. Doesn't work that way. So, um, next question. What kind of guy do you like to work with? What, what kind of client do you like to work with? The guy that wants to get something accomplished. Specifically, give me an example okay. of, of, uh, of a client that you turned around. Oh, all right, all right. Well, th this is brag time, I suppose. No, dude, there's no brag time. We were okay. talking about uh, I've worked with IPOs, as I mentioned, uh, right. and I said, how do we get this thing off the ground? Okay, so, well, you have all the money, you got everything you need, you got to who are you hiring to do the job? Well, we're going out to different companies. It's, uh, stealing? And we're stealing these guys. I says, mm -hmm. era one. Okay, strike mm -hmm. one. Okay. Good. I said, well, where do we get guys? Where do you get guys? You right. farm it out, man. You say you want cherries. Beautiful. Why do you want cherries? Beautiful. They're not coming in with preconceived ideas. Beautiful. Steve. You're hiring guys to run your uh, bagel machinery company. Oh, nice show. The microphone's good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Your yeah. bagel machinery company. Okay, you don't hire guys from IT and T. You're gonna hire guys that from the food industry. Yeah, yeah, you know, we're oh, putting. No, no, I'm, is, making, no, no, I'm making. I'm making a general. You know, this is very important. I'm generalizing. We're, we're not talking about apples and oranges. We're talking about oranges and oranges. We're talking about mama washing yeah. is what so, we're talking so about. So basically, yeah. what you're doing is you're, you're, and I think we're going to wind up with this because yeah. I think it's a great point. Look at the camera. Yeah. And let's let's. I think this book is really a, a, a perfect book on handling. It says, look, suffocating the opposition. Give me an example. Suffocating the opposition means that if you're in a negotiation and the opposition keeps coming at you with indirect objections, what you have got to do is you have got to put your persona across in such a way with your idea 
stuff here, don't forget, these are like, uh, these are literal, not figurative. I mean, <laughs> okay, you know what, you don't want to really suffocate them. Well, you do, but you know, okay. Make them understand in no uncertain terms that any of the objections they're coming back at you with are meaningless because they do not understand their own motivation. Let's talk about, ma there's no magic. What, what, are you, what, what do you mean there's no magic? You oh, said, there is no magic. Magic is like, uh, you know, like parlor tricks. Clever ploys. I detest cleverness. Okay, and one of the reasons I detest cleverness is because when you're clever, it's because you are uncertain. Okay, so you're going to try to be cutesy, 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 and try to impress a third party. Okay, even Musashi said when he pulls that sword, he's not there for you to say, wow, that's a fast sword, Musashi. Or Zash, as we call him, affection. Well, the, the whole reason of pulling that sword is next case. It's all about right timing, isn't it? What? Right timing. Right timing. Okay. Right timing is a misconception. Okay. Every time is the right time. And the reason every time is the right time is because if you've done your homework, okay, it doesn't matter what the objection is. You, I'm com we're talking about this over here. Somebody knocks on the door and says, hey, can we um, uh, have the studio? I says, you know, so, what do you say? hey, you know, wait, we'll be done in 10 minutes. That's an imposition to break the flow over here, okay? But maybe that particular thing was done at the right time mm -hmm. because we're mm -hmm. not getting accomplished what we need to. And any time an objection comes up, it's because you did not explain the reality of your projection. T t tell us about the difference between leading and being led. Leading and being led. If you're going to lead, it means that you've already understood how to work with a leader that's led you under Beautiful. certain Beautiful. times. Okay, yeah, you know, you only become like a giant by standing on a giant on the shoulders of other giants, which is an old adage over there. Okay. You want to see the future? Look on the giants of the past. You'll see where you are now. When you see where you are now, now you're standing on, ah, that's where I want to go, man. Tell us about control, understanding control. G give the audience an opportunity to, uh, to, to control. Just control that. is a very, very simple thing, okay? Control is used when there is no simpatico, okay? If there's a simpatico like we have over here, I'm not in control, you're not in control. We. Beautiful are permitting uh, yeah, no, the I environment the money. Right the money. to, to <clears throat> control us or to guide us accordingly to get the message of the book across to so the folks. You, <coughs> you have a, <coughs> you have a, a strategy in a book that you wrote in the book, yeah. which I love, called For the Benefit of All. The Benefit of All Concerned. Tell us about that. The premise of my philosophy and my strategy is I enter a negotiation based on the benefit of all, con winning for the benefit of all concerned with myself as the primary recipient of good. If I'm going to go into a negotiation based on the idea of winning for the benefit of all concerned, there's nothing you're going to walk away from the table wondering what about. Because even if I know things that you are not aware of, I'm going to make you aware of those things. Oh, I don't <laughs> want them sneaking up on me later <laughs> and say, well, hey, man, you didn't do this. Hey, man, you didn't. No, that to me is your excuse. The d excuse that to me is baby stuff. Like the way I handle baby I stuff. I okay. It. I love <laughs> it. Okay. No, we're negotiating. Hey, this is what's gonna happen. This is how we're gonna do it. And this is what what do you think is good about all of this? You you agree with this? Yeah. You agree with this? But okay, don't go to the next thing. Get that butt handled immediately. Because if you don't, anything that you're going to do in the future is going to be predicated on that not having, that butt not having been resolved. So how did Musashi, how did Musashi uh, handle that particular one? When he talked about being the art of uh, appreciating. The art of appreciating. The art of appreciating means, first of all, you must respect your opponent. If you respect your opponent, okay, then your opponent's going to acknowledge you. Maybe they don't respect you, but you respect them gives you the advantage. Why? Because now, as a target, as a target, if you respect the target, 
the target will comply with your desires. This gets a little heavy over here the same way, but if the target doesn't respect you, then just cut it right down. On the other hand, if the target does acknowledge your respect, it will concur by permitting you to cut it down with less effort and energy. Um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a process out there which a lot of pre pre people watching will understand. Um, it's called, uh, you, have to, you have to have a mental, a mental picture of what you want. Oh, man. Well, let me tell you something about visualization, okay? You have to have a mental picture of what you want, but you have to know what you want so you can define that mental picture. You see, this is where visualization is misconstrued. Visualization is how I'm visualizing this enormous house with a white picket fence overlooking uh, the, the river, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but you're not doing anything to accomplish it. That's not what you want. What you want is, yeah, okay, this is what you see in your mind. This is what you want. Good. Don't expect it in that form. It's not going to come in that form because why? Because you're a finite intelligence, okay? So therefore, you're obviously going to make mistakes, okay? Like you may have a picture of a house with a white picket fence overlooking a river, maybe a two a two room uh, trailer, <laughs> or, or, or yeah, you know, may not be what you're looking for. So you just say, I want a big house white thicket fence overlooking the river and drop it. Now, what is it you have got to do <laughs> to bring that into reality? Oh, well, write some more books. You know, get your books out there and sell them. Be focused. What do you want, man? There you go. Okay, so we're going to be winding it down soon. I hope you had a good time. I could by go way, on for hours with this. By, and by the way, you, you can. You, you're going you're gonna to be able to do this. <laughs> um, you talk about, talk How we about doing? visualizing a home. And then you also have an article or a paragraph in your book about craftsmanship. Craftsmanship. Craftsmanship is very, very important, okay? When I go to the museum, okay, and I see these incredible, exquisite pieces of work, okay, let's talk about functional art now, not like just hangings and paintings. You see a, a guy like... Rodin. Ba Rodin. Couldn't say any better, right? Perfect. Rodin wasn't happy until he and the sculpture were the same exact thing. And I, and I never spoke to the guy, but like I'm, I know where profound artistry comes from. The object of your creation is only an extension of your soul. Mm. Okay? Therefore, I'm not going to look for shortcuts. Mm. To, because if I look for shortcuts to get over on you, that's called being clever. Okay. And that's a denigration of the self. So you don't the think... Club look, go ahead. And I don't care. I, throw, I like to throw those little things in there. Okay. So uh, give me a, a Kaufmanism. A Kaufmanism? Yes. If you're going to play, play. Don't play. Wow. Yeah, I got I, one of my heavy ones. Say that one again. If you're going to play, play. Don't play. If you're going to play, play. Don't play. Well, <laughs> you want more information about the book? Go to the website. If you want to get a copy, go to Amazon or go to the website. If you go to the website, I autograph it. It's a better deal. Excellent. So it says, the place from which you approach and close. Mr. Kaufman, use everything to your advantage at all times without hesitation. Leads to a position of power. That's correct. Wherever you are coming from. Okay. okay talk, what does that talk, mean? Talk about that. Okay, what that means is if I'm coming to you and I'm approaching you with all of my inners, so to speak, understanding that what I'm going to do is going to be for your benefit as well. And you don't pick up on that. It gives me power over you because now I control you and I can direct you in any way I want. I would prefer that as I approach you and try to get all of this out of you, I'm getting out of you what I need to enhance you. Beautiful. That makes to enhance you, you, man. Yeah, I know I'm the great Pooh Bah, but I don't go around, hey, dig me, dig me, dig me, okay? 
What I need from you, if we're going to accomplish a certain thing, is for you to be uh, not, uh, absolutely on the same level, but with what you're doing. See, let me explain something. Do you know why the universe was created? It's a very simple thing. The universe was created specifically and individually for me, without any other reason. Now, that being so, and like we are all finite, then therefore the universe must have been created specifically and exactly for you. If that's true, and I assist that it's true because I am the creator of my own reality, huh? therefore there's never a need for conflict. There's nobody, there's nobody to jockey for position. What are we going to do? Hey, Steve, let's build um, a better waffle ma uh, mach making machine or something like that. Okay. What do you know? You know the electric? Good. I know how to, like, uh, fabricate stuff. Well, let's get, let's, we get together. Hey, yeah. does this work? Yeah. Boom, bang, so, zap, bang. Here we go. So we got let's, it. Let, let's, let's get a little more real down to earth. Um, this is good, man. I want to, what I want to do is I want to have a, a series of programs. Okay. With other people, specifically like yeah. yourself. I want to be able to uh, create a network, okay, like a like a a network of of of, of community access directors. You got it. So that we can go literally around the world. You got it. We can stream. We can talk. We can do promos. Rock and roll. And basically, I want to know how you'd begin to create th that need, not only in myself. If you you said before, if if it's a very if the if it's very finite, yeah. you're here. The, the Earth is here to serve you. You're here to serve the earth. Universe. Universe. Yeah. And vice versa. And he, you said, and once we do that, if I take that position, everything is here for me, then guess what? There, there's nothing to, dis to disagree about. Right. Okay? So I have an audience, or there is an audience out there, where by I think yeah. and know that people, as like myself, are so friggin' tired of television, the programming, has nothing to do with with reality. That's a fact. Specifically, folks that's a fact. Son. Who have who have eat who have reached of the most beautiful time of their life right before they die. Let's face it. Hmm. So there's a period where we're going to be. We, it's going to be going to end. That's that's a real that that part is really part of life. And then there's an, another part. It could be at forty. Could be at fifty, sixty. Whatever the age is. We know people yeah. die at thirty-four. We want to be able to to get to get them to enjoy watching TV right? on our channel. It's, it's, it, we call it mindfulness. How would you help me? I have all the money I need. Um, <laughs> God bless you, man. <laughs> yeah, I have all the money I need, and I have all the product that, uh, that a station needs. And I'm not speaking to anybody. Can you help me? Yes. That's Tell me what, exactly that, that, and specifically what you want, and I'll deliver it. Okay, I, I want to get an um, amalgamation of about 30, t 30 stations mm -hmm. to run our programs. Okay, fine. You mean to, with, the, with the cable thing? Yeah. That's, well, the way I would do that, I would contact people that I know in various um, <sighs> venues, various locales. Okay, tell mm -hmm. them, hey, this is what we've got. We're coming out of New York with MNN, and you're in uh, Sheboygan. Okay, you have access to the cable uh, thing over there? No. Okay, do you know anybody who does? Yeah, hook them up. Bang, here's the deal, okay? We're going to do this, that, and the other thing. What do you want from us that will make you happy for having done that? And yeah, could we depend yeah, upon you to do it? And the next thing you know, you could probably get like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of channels. The problem here... Go ahead ...is the distribution aspect. Somebody's got to sit there and... Bang, bang, keep sending it out to all of these people. No, I have another way of doing it. Huh? I have another way of doing this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I'm not going to tell you on the air. I'm not, I'm not going to well, worry can, about I it. Can, I, 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 I know how I, I do can, mass I can spreads. take this book, yeah. this product, yeah. and put a cassette on here or put a DVD. Yeah. Okay? I can put this in an envelope, mm -hmm. and I can do one of two things. I can spend the next four years getting this all out, or I can do, I can say and press f one button, which has programs to 700 stations. Okay, so then you got that database. That's very cool. Done. Yeah. I know, I know who the manager is. I know what. And you can buy that. Absolutely. So in one felt button. Bang, you got it locked it's in. It's done. 
Done. So okay. the old way is to put the stamp on, to go to the post office. No, 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 no. This, I was this doing is, emails. You know, so you know. if we wanted to get this book yeah. in the hands of everybody who was interested in it, okay, what what can you do to give a premium? What would you tell just magic, the magic the word, the premium. Okay? You know about the premium market. Okay, what that is. Okay, first thing I would do is take sort of board and go to like a, a Morgan Stanley or what is this? Hey, how about the Morgan Stanley edition of the sword in the boardroom? And, that, and they give that away, man. That's what I'm asking for. That's that's that's, uh, that's, that's, an, that's, that's that an incredible is, shot. That is no brainer. And, and th they can, you know how you know these companies sell uh, certain products and they say, uh, so far we've sent out 70 million uh, bottles of da 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 da. That's right. And the truth is. They can say whatever they want. Cable's not censored. That's right. Even if they said, well, no, we send seven bottles. If they want to say seven million, That's a fact. Isn't. But when a major client, maybe you're talking to someone who spent 45 That's right. years in advertising, 4,000 commercials later, okay. heads of production for, for a major and work with every major, major firm, when this doesn't matter what this product is, every second of, of the statement that you make on the air yeah. is for the people's benefit. Well, we'll do it as a we'll do it as an infomercial, man. You know? That's right. That's right. That's and right. pump it out like crazy, man. That's right. I'm ready. Okay. So see, now that this I is an idea that you're yeah. giving me, and I'm saying, you know what? This is exactly what we're talking about here. So here, this is an idea you're giving me over here. I said, you know something? This will benefit all concerned. Well, myself is the primary recipient of the good. Why? Because you're doing it also as you being the primary recipient of all good. So <laughs> let me so let me just wrap up. Yeah. For the purposes of both of our audiences. Yeah. And saying the name of my show is Artist Behind the Artist. This man over here is the artist behind me, and I'm the artist behind him. That's the only but way it truly, works, man. That's the only way it works. We're the artist behind you. And you're the artist uh, behind us. We want you to survive, to work, to benefit, to teach, the altar, to get the magic words. What are we doing here? What do you want? And how fast can we get it?